Jamie, Tracy, less than 45 minutes before you give us something sweet. Come on, guys, let's go. So parfait's in the blast chiller, onto my mousse. I'm feeling really confident in my dish. I kind of think this apron could be mine. Tracy seems to know exactly what she wants to make. She's probably practiced it 500,000 times knowing her, so there's a good chance she's going to make a good dish. I'm hoping to impress the judges and just to show a real balance of flavours so each component is balanced, but how they all work together. All I can think is beetroot. Chop them up and then I just turn it on a pretty gentle simmer and, and leave it and hope for the best. Jamie loves overcomplicating every dish that he makes and he just wants to put as much as possible onto the plate and desserts aren't his thing, so I am really worried for him right now. Soft chocolate is halfway between a mousse and a ganache. It's a recipe I've made before, it's come off well, I know how to make it. Jamie starts making strange errors. He's trying to make some sort of chocolate ganache. He doesn't even break the chocolate up first. He then puts the gelatin into something that's cold and then has to try to heat it up to melt it. Are you charging it? Yes. So not too much cream. When Amelia starts questioning me, it's about when I start to second guess myself. Is it going to split if you charge it? What, the soft chocolate? I completely forget what I'm even trying to do. Not quite sure where I'm at at the moment. OK. Probably a lesson from your main course. If something's not right, like the freak up, don't, don't put it on the on. plate. Yep. I have a tendency to try and add elements when they're not needed. And I feel like this could be one of those moments. In a dessert challenge, for sure, you want to have all the big jobs out of the way halfway through. And guess what? That's exactly where we are now. 30 minutes to go. I folded my whipped cream into my chocolate mousse base. Chocolate mousse is done into the freezer. So my parfait's in the blast chiller, my mousse is in the freezer, and so far, so good. Trace, all good? Yeah, I think I'm doing okay, yeah, thank you. that looks nice. Yeah, Thanks. so there's my cocoa crumb. Yum. You're doing so well, huh? I'm proud you. of you today. Thank you. You're doing an amazing job. Um, that means a lot. This cook has been, so far, I think, my best cook. If I could have every cook go like this one, I could win it. Trace is in control and definitely on top of Jamie. Jamie's all flustered. I don't even think he knows everything he wants to do. I look around my bench and there's stuff everywhere. It is the exact opposite of how I've been working today. And I can't even remember what I'm supposed to be doing. I know I've got grated beetroot on for a puree. I can't remember what I'm using that puree for. You all right? No. Why, well, what's wrong? It's just not working for me. What's work? not working? My head's just not working. OK, well, just stop for a sec. Think about what's in the pantry. You got that's beetroot right. in your head, because that's what you wanted to do. But do you need to do that? You're thinking about that apron, you want to win it, you need to put up a delicious dish. The beetroot's not working. Let's make it simple. Straight to the pantry, grab a whole lot of berries. Chocolate, cream, berries. They work together. Bottom line is, I want that apron, I want that power, so I have to keep pushing. It's not about sweet, it's not about sour, it's all about power. Five minutes to go. So I need to get onto the sugar syrup for my salted caramel sauce. This is actually what ties the whole dish together. Adding the salt is the part that is really tricky because you need enough salt to balance the sugar, but not too salty. This is the make or break of my dish, and I cannot stuff this up. I've got the beetroot puree. I've still got my meringue, which I'm not really doing anything with. Let's incorporate the two, and hopefully it'll be a little element that sets mine aside. Jamie's got no time left. He's pushing it really fine now. One minute to go. So I'm plating up. I'm really happy. I think that I've balanced the flavours enough, feel like I've got enough salt, and it's not overly sweet. It's time to plate, and I figure putting it in a glass is going to be the best. This way I can layer it and I can get away with a couple little mistakes. I'm already cutting it really close and I can't afford any more disasters. First into the glass is the chocolate crumb and then I pipe in what was the soft chocolate, now it's more of a chocolate mousse over the top. 
Then I pipe the beetroot meringue in, and as soon as I do, I realise it's split. Worst nightmare. Jamie, Tracy, you're both up against it. Do another plate, Jamie, seconds. and just get rid of it. 30 seconds. Oh, my God. I've got to start again. Get another glass, same process, leave the beetroot meringue out. Crumb on the bottom, mousse, fresh berries onto the top of that. Who's going to get the power? Well, we'll find out. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Pulls down. I've gone from dish of the competition to something that is embarrassing and I'm completely ashamed of. I need a moment to centre myself and not let this turn into even more of an embarrassment. It's not embarrassing. Embarrassing is you not putting a dessert up, so you put a dessert up. Huh? On the flip side of it, I'm glad you're kicking yourself. But stand tall, you put up your dish, stand by it. It's the best you've done in that hour. You hear me? Yeah. All right, so get out there and stand next to your dish and head up high. Yeah? Come yeah. On. So here we are, one hour to cook us a dish. And basically our little finale to decide who gets the power apron. Is it going to be Jamie or Tracy? Your dishes will make that decision for us. First dish we'd like to taste belongs to Jamie. Jamie, there's a lot on the line here, so I think we'll reserve our comments until we've tasted Tracy's dish. Thank you very much. Can I ask you one question? Is there any of those five elements on the plate that doesn't contain sugar? No. It's really upsetting. I thought they were behind, I thought they loved it, and I don't know. <sighs> My confidence is kind of taking a steep slide. But maybe Jamie's done a better job. Maybe in the end he's pulled it off. It was a big day today, especially for the two of you, because you've cooked an entree, main and dessert, and there's no wonder you're a little bit emotional. You're probably completely physically exhausted. But we've never had the kind of power that we're about to hand to someone on MasterChef. If you win that power apron, then you get to choose what the other contestants will be cooking or how they will be cooking and sometimes even who will be cooking. Think about that. Jamie, you got something up. Chocolate, cream, berries. It's a proven combination, but that mousse was sloppy, that crumb was chewy. Tracy, you brought us a dish that we had to ask, is this too sweet? Sugar in every element. The essence of a great dessert, it's about controlling sugar. And that's what you managed to do. 
with the bitterness of your mousse, with the saltiness of your caramel, with the restraint of the sugar in your crumb, every single element balanced against each other. It was amazing cooking, and I think it took more control than we've shown for a long time, not to just dive back in and go again and go again and go again and go again. That was magnificent, Tracy. Your dishes, your dreams, all on three plates. Congratulations, the apron is yours. <laughs> My heart has gone from completely slumped down to back up high. I'm gonna enjoy wearing that. <laughs> Everybody else has worked really hard, but I'm just glad that I consistently put up great dishes today and that I get to wear that apron. Tracy, you hold the power now for the entire week. How are you planning on using it? I'm going to go home and completely digest it all first. Uh, and yeah, I've got a lot of thinking to do. Anyone worried? Why? Parts of advantage, you know. Everyone should be worried.